everybody smile. Oh, someone's hoovering. Today we have the captain on command, this is Mr. Lionel, assisted by uh, another captain. His name is David. In the middle is uh, Mr. Elvio, and right here in the front is uh, Senorita Migla. And my name is, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob. <laughs> Today the flight time uh, via Cologne is uh, uh, <laughs> short. <laughs> So we've arrived in Germany and we are just outside the Fant Fantasia land. Hotel Charles Lindbergh up ahead. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're so excited. Um, we've just got to try and get across this road now. Hey, it does say please only use the footbridge. Um, so we're using the road instead. <laughs> For it to broad, am I right? Two hours later. So we've got one night stay in Charles Lindbergh which includes your park tickets. Let's go. Do, do, do. Yes. It includes two days park tickets. Uh, we'll talk more about it, but you get food and some other bits. I'm um, quite excited. Hotel's pretty much literally inside the ride area, which is something you don't see so very often. we will get a nice view of the track. We hopefully shall. Here's an, another member of our party just arrived fresh off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of editing. Ooh. Thank you. So we're currently in the Charles Lindbergh Hotel check-in area um, in Phantasialand, Germany. Um, this is a lovely theme in the round. Initial thoughts? Oh, did you get the license plate? Yes, do you need it? Yes, please. Welcome to another Theme Park Worldwide update. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Fantasia Land. Woo! I've, I've lost the, um, the confidence. <laughs> Might have to do it again. Yeah, it's all scary, yeah. Right, hello. So we've checked in at the hotel. We've got uh, put our bags away, got some boarding passes, which we will now show you. So like um, which means... uh, you've got a barcode on the back of this scan so that's your uh, two day tickets. And as you can park. see, these are brand spanking new. They've not been used at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining the illusion. Sorry. Uh, so we get special access to the park via this. So we, from what I understand, you show this side to get into the hotel and you show this side to get into the park. Multi-use. Uh, it's like a jumper. Yeah, listen. But made of paper. <laughs> and this is it. It's through the gate that signifies you can afford to stay at the hotel. These steps must only be used by hotel guests. Anyone else who uses them gets slapped out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an Omni Mover car, doesn't it? I love Omni Movers, it's my favourite ride type. Love it, love it. Everyone looks very happy to be in this ride area. It is amazing. So all of those losers didn't pay £500 for a fast track. Look at them running. We're just going to stroll around the park and then use our fast track when it suits us. You're not saying that Charles lived there. Right, so we're about to walk. Uh, so we're about to walk onto the main street. Tower Street. Tower Street. <laughs> Tower Street and Fantasyland. Here we go. Alright, so we're 
frozen over. So despite it being the very end of January, um, they are still doing the Christmas event. That's the whole point of this. So Christmas lights everywhere and snow, which I believe isn't, well, it is real, but was put here on purpose for effect, which is quite good. It's in the UK if it snows. The theme park workers spend all day clearing up the snow. And uh, in Germany, like when it doesn't it. snow, the theme park workers spend the time putting snow down. Uh, they've got a box of snow there, I imagine. Right, Today. welcome back to Hold Tight Riders, the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Here we are at Fantasialand in Germany. Excuse the tiredness of everybody, we set up at 1am this morning to come here. Um, these guys have never been before, so... Yep. I'm virgins! I'm going to <laughs> basically spend the whole day showing them all the things that I've done before and then waiting for them to be amazed. And if not, we'll be, we'll be very sad. So, anyway, I think we're going to do the Taran first, just to warm us up. Let's go. One of the best rides I've been on in my life. Taran Holy Fox. crap, that is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's a real ride. Is this a restaurant to uh, alcohol for you as well? Thoughts on the flam kuchen? Good. One more, more. Right, hello again. Good afternoon. Welcome back. We've just been on the Rake ride, or Rike, or Rike, which is a family, family boomerang. Uh, cheated the system a bit by going single rider, but got batched in as a two instantly. So felt, felt very smug. Whoops. Oh, bear with. Uh, I just is it? It's an all right ride. Uh, I think we I all... enjoyed it. I mean, it was quite short. I'm glad we didn't wait the queue for it. What a nice little filler ride. Thriller. Checks the box, doesn't it? It does. Another cred. <laughs> and now we're at the mystery castle. Uh, the castle shrouded in mystery. Apart from the fact that the entrance on the board it says it's a drop ride, so that does somehow that ruin the, ruin the impact. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. This is a group of back there. Uh, let's spin you around and show you what it looks like. Yeah, gone. Oh, probably not actually. Nice. Yeah. How about I go through your legs? <laughs> Oh, you got it. Yes. Uh, Hello. Hiya. Oh, yeah. So fast. <laughs> Run as fast as you can. Quick. Yes. Sir. The, the ride will close. Quick. Quick. Unmöglich gebrochen zu sein. Sein Sohn hat das Zeit, der zu einem Mr. Kassen und der Sinn und die Erlösung. Ah. Ah. Mr. A. Bit of general walking footage for the video. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We haven't Hello. done any updates for a long time. Lots has happened. We went on Mystery Castle. We got into a fist fight. 
so, old boy. So you may have, I think I got it on video before we went in, these kids running past us. I, I'm pretty sure I definitely did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we then re-pushed in front of them slightly. And uh, oh, wait, them, can we just recreate? One of them tried to fight me like this. <laughs> so me and a child danced around the queue line. <laughs> anyway, we got on first, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, depending on how we edit this, this is the uh, first, second, third, or fourth ride of the day. <laughs> it's gonna be the uh, Spinball Wizard! The Spinball Wizard and the Dragon's Fury here, here together. Um, indoor area of the park, which probably helps with the fact that these kind of rides don't deal well with, with the rain, as we know. Uh, from yeah, no from in, 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 inside knowledge of, uh, <laughs> of these Mara rides. <laughs> Been on both the winges three times in total. Thoughts, please, everybody. Amazing. Excellent. The best thing in the world. I can't remember which one was the better one, but it's the horse. Yeah. 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 Well, I, yeah. I mean, I liked horse as well. It's been more as it was built after this ride. Was it? I think it was. That's, that's true. true. That's what I believe it was. Let me do the one. Uh, very oh, I believe what Katie said. I believe it was. Oh, I just believe what Katie said. Some fast, fantastic secret Secrets. elements. Um, Google it if you wish, but I don't think it's worth spoiling. Uh, we're on a, a drop tower now. Well. Oh, <laughs> Everyone's like, what's happening? This is the Tittle Tattle Tree, and you get a lovely view of all the, all the coasters at the top. I don't know how to make this go. Tittle Tattle. Does it spin? No, no, this isn't moving. If I was only on time, You've always wanted to be a fireman, right? Yes. <laughs> Been climbing. It's like Skyride Rescue. It's like you're using a Zimmer frame. <laughs> We've just been on the Hotel Tartuff Fun House. Brilliant. Thoughts? Uh, I thought it was really good. Um, a bit disappointing that not everything's working, but a good, a good offering, if you were. A good old laugh uh, very, in the dark. Very Ghost well maintained. Thing. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to head towards the, the Talican Topspin now, which none of us are particularly <laughs> enthused about. Pop but Harry, Harry, Harry. When in Rome, uh, <laughs> travel to Germany. <laughs>
So we've just come off Talakan. This is the current state of affairs. <laughs> did you enjoy the ride? Yeah. I you did, did though, I didn't you? I thought it was fantastic. I'd go on it again. If they said, let's go round two, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd pass out at some point. I don't think you did. It's a very, uh, very good cycle. That is a nice amount that of transfer tracks. That is lovely, track. I love transfer tracks. <laughs> Where are we now? Uh, we are on the... Colorado! Colorado! <laughs> uh, it's my favourite ride here, I think. Um, oh, here it is, right on cue. We love it, we love it. We love it here on the channel. You know me and my mind train. Seems to be a bit of a throughput machine, this one. At least three trains, maybe. I assume it's three, judging by this. Unless they have one on the track, but anyway. Very fantastic operation. Choo -choo. Look at that. Here we go guys. Oh smell that boot. Oh. Big crop. So here we are on the Deep in Africa Adventure Trail, new for the end of last season, sometime last season, very new. We get to have a little explore through the Black Mamba ride area, as you can see, pretty close. Sadly, only one train, so the, the sightings of the Mamba are few and far between due to, due to poor throughputs. Was that <laughs> Well, you wouldn't get this in the UK, but when in Africa... <laughs> Is it going to come from the left or the right? The right. right. There. He knows. You know nothing about B and M roller coasters. Bolliger and Mandiard. Do we all look absolutely amazed by the show we just went to see? It was the greatest show. <laughs> I shan't pass comments. Said no one ever. <laughs> well, no, it used to be my job to critique shows, so the trampoline bit was good, though, right? We like the trampoline. Was the highlight. Yeah, um, yeah, the rest of it, mm, not so much. I, I mean, like, it was good, but not At the starting point, can I, we get the, all the performers wearing the same shoes? That would be great. <laughs> I don't think that's what I took from it. I just thought maybe... Harry, Harry was making notes throughout the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my job. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Anyway, quick pivot. Um, back to what we're doing now. What are we doing now? We are now in the queue for the Black Mamba roller coaster, B&M ride, inverted coaster, Nemesis Inferno, if you were. 
And that's what Nemesis will look like one day. Stay tuned. Fingers crossed. Are we done? Are we done here? I think we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi again everyone, Hi. we've just been on uh, Black, Black Mamba and the thoughts on Black Mamba? It's brilliant, um, I don't know how it ranks to Nemesis but it is a very 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 good B&M inverted coaster. Thanks Charlotte. <laughs> and now we're in um, Berlin and there's a, a Christmas themed water show happening. Amazing. This is a taste sensation. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. Cream, uh, Toblerone, Smarties, chocolate sauce, sugary stuff, uh, and of course, a waffle. Welcome back. Uh, everyone's gone home now, as you can see. Not that person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we've got to record things for a long time. So uh, we've done lots of things. We've been on fly, we've been on... Taron. Taron. Uh, we've got a waffle. Black Mamba. Um, uh, we spoke about yeah. um, So yeah, we used our fast tracks that we got from the hotel to go on to fly. And we've not talked about fly at all. And, uh, Brilliant. Very good. Very interesting um, ride system. Theme-wise, probably the best themed and experienced as a whole so much but to look I think at in the we're area. sort of in agreement that Taron's probably a better ride definitely but they're both amazing but please tell us more if there's anything you'd like to talk about when I was ex expecting to go on Taron I was expecting Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach so you can imagine how enjoyable it was <laughs> Although in minus one, it in is minus very it's cold. Chilly. So cold, so cold. In fact, that it burst my coat buttons open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that was. Taryn was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no get him out. Take that off. <laughs> um, so we're just in my the last bit of the lights and the atmosphere before we go and check out the other hotels for a little. It's a wonder. A little wonder. But anyway, to summarise, um, very fantastic. Most things here are almost as good as what Blackpool Pleasure Beach has, I would say. Um, <laughs> you can't say that, you'll get sacked. <laughs> no, this, this is my, my favourite place. <laughs> anyway, this may be the end, maybe not. Uh, we might find some food in one of the hotels, but we shall see. If not, thanks for coming. See you again next Christmas. Ciao, ciao. Right, hello, I'll show you inside the cabin we have at Charles Lindo. So all the cabins you can get here are the same as far as I'm aware. Um, this is how much space you get. So not a lot, you get two single beds. I think that is the only configuration you can get. They are quite comfy. Uh, this is the morning after the sleeping, so I can confirm that it's worked. Um, quite warm in here. You've got a heating control here. You can put it on max, but it only seems to last for a couple of minutes before it turns itself down. You get these two lights in the corner and these two lights up here, so it does get a little bit dark. Um, coming this way, some storage space, which has a little pull down door. <laughs> bit more storage space down the bottom. There are some drawers under the bed, which we didn't realise until afterwards. If you wanted to put some small things in there. And then you've got the bathroom in here, which you can partition. Um, and it's a shower with a rainforest. Little 
movie door. You know how much we love a room for a shower on the channel. We love a room for a shower. Uh, toilet. I mean, it all fits the theming quite nicely. Uh, a basin and then a tap, which is a few miles above it. <laughs> it's not very practical, but it's uh, it looks nice. Got a hairdryer, which is uh, already plumbed into the wall. And some other bits and bobs. And the best bit, obviously, the reason you come here is for the the fact you're staying within the fly ride area. So you get some fantastic views of the ride. So we are amazed with ours. Let's have a look. Wow. If you look there, you can just see it's just the staff uh, parking. I think we've got, got short change on the room. However, when you're in it, you can't see out anyway. Um, I'll say that. We'll show you the window situation. So it was fine. It would have been nice to be high up, but you can go, you can walk around the whole hotel anyway, as I will show you in some shots. This is how you get your privacy. So this is your one window out. You can probably just about see there is the ride out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the ride. Um, and there you go. That's your curtains. Pretty good. Uh, so this costs whew, somewhere between 400 and 500 euros. 499 euros. For, uh, yeah, so it's about 500 for us. Um, but that includes two days park tickets, four fast trucks for fly, which I will now show you. So you get two per person. Um, so you get two days park tickets, two fast tracks each for fly, um, parking, three course meal, which I didn't film any of, but we had burgers and chips, which was quite nice. We and had some breakfast. Vegetarian and breakfast, breakfast, which I did film some of, so I'll put some in. Welcome pack. Um, themed to, you got all this stuff. We'll probably take this with us to have a look. We've got a nice flight log, log book with all different information, some postcards, and I don't know whether they update this, depending on when it is, but like daily or anything, but this is a Rookberg Gazette newspaper which I think, I assume, is free for the taking for your memories. So we'll have a further look later on. I think that's all to, uh, all to say for now. Very nice. I think ultimately you pay for the experience more than the uh, size of the room, but it's very comfy and uh, would recommend. <laughs> Show me your egg. It's like Nemesis of Terror. <laughs> nice. Nice. Ooh. What have we got here then? We got some overnight porridge with berries, cheeky bit of French toast, and some pancakes. Look pretty fluffy. I'm impressed. And here? Um, scrambled eggs. Not a massive fan, but not because the eggs are bad, just because I'm fussy. Um, this is all really good, and um, this is also amazing. This is a croissant. Croissant, bit It's quite, quite nicely shaped, doesn't it? Lovely. That is where we were staying. <laughs> That's where the ride is. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on cabin? Good cabin. Good cabin. Thoughts on cabin? Oh, <laughs> Thoughts on cabin? <laughs> it was actually really cool. It's cozy. Cool. Would, you, would you do it again? Yeah, 100%. Fab. Without a doubt.